pedal down the foot, yeah. heels, wheelies on the front, pe- pe- pedal down the foot, yeah. heels, wheelies on the front. I got this 8990, this is champ flat bill, black store the cap with the hologram tags, white mag rims, red rubber tires. Hi, I'm Dan Hamilton. This is my uh, 1995 Toyota Tacoma Supercharged. My name is Sal Greco, and this is my 1989 Ford Pro GT. <laughs> um, today we're going to be talking about oh, today we're going to be talking about forced air induction <clears throat> and the two different types. Um, there's supercharging and turbocharging. There's three different types of superchargers: uh, blower, twin screw, and centrifugal. And also turbocharging. There's only one. It works off the exhaust just to make the <clears throat> This right here is the supercharger. And basically how it does it uh, or how it works is uh, it's driven by the belt, which is really hard to turn. Um, and the air gets pulled in from the air box through the mass airflow sensor and throttle plate into the supercharger, which pressurizes it like an air compressor. Um, and I'm gonna fire it up here for you. All time, dog. Now the turbocharger starts from the intake, which sucks in the air, to the turbocharger, which pushes it in the intercooler, just this, it cools the air that leads to the intake into the head. That has a broken belt. This is an air intercooler. Buy here. You gotta get, you gotta look in here. Spins are there behind this light. Ah! Hot! You alright? So it's just the dual fan design. So my feet need to lift one fan. You gotta hold the lamp light up higher, dude. This is the turbo right in here. Oh, I don't want to touch your coolant. There is the hot side of the, or that is the air side of the turbo, and that is the hot side of the turbo. Um, and that is driven by the exhaust, and it pushes a fan, and basically a shaft goes to the other fan, and sucks in air, and makes your, uh, your air. Yeah, it compresses it the same principle as a supercharger. Alright, the pros and cons to a supercharger. Um, first, the pros would probably be the added boost of power. Um, it's, it's pretty easy um, and simple to install. Um, this one came stock like this from the factory, but uh, tr- like supercharging a car is, I would say, a lot less time consuming than turbocharging a car. That's a pro. Um, you can get about the same amount of results as a turbocharger with about the same time and money. Um, and uh, you're going to burn, a con would be you're going to burn a lot more fuel when you're, uh, when you're in it and out of it. Um, I notice that a lot when I'm in it. I burn a lot more fuel than when I'm out of it. Um, and then when you're about mid-range, you're going to burn about the same amount of fuel. Um, <clears throat> Some of the pros of a turbocharger is when you're not into the turbo, when it's not boosting, it allows the fuel to burn more completely and improving gas mileage. But when you are, in fact, using the turbo, it'll drop at about 40% because of the forced air. Uh, some of the cons is 
vacuum can be a very big issue. If you have a leak, the entire system won't work. This came with the car. I don't have to worry about installing it. It can be a headache if you don't know what you're doing, but it's fun to work on and fun to drive. Um, turbochargers over superchargers. And I, I'd say about the same, just because you can get a lot more power. Um, but with the amount of time you're going to spend putting on a supercharger versus a turbocharger, I would. It, it's all in time and money. It's what it's, it's what you want to spend. All right. <laughs> That was through second gear. <laughs> oh my god, that bitch was spinning so fast. Get away.